In this tutorial, we are going to learn the basics of using the SimLab Template Designer Tool, which allows us to customize our 3D PDF designs when using the SimLab 3D PDF plugins. In your CAD application, navigate towards the SimLab 3D PDF menu. There you will find the option to export PDF file, which would allow you to export all the sheets, documents, and 3D views, or few selected as a combined PDF document. The export current view, which would export the active 3D view in your CAD application, along with all cameras into a single PDF page. You also have a tool that would allow you to merge multiple PDF files into a single file and the settings menu. From the settings menu, you have the option to view the PDF settings, access online help and tutorials, as well as explore additional useful tools by SimLab designed specifically for your CAD application. Click on PDF settings. In the first tab in the settings dialog, you will find numerous pre-designed templates that you can use for your 3D PDF document. You can select one, then click Save to set it as your default exporting template. Close the settings dialog and click on Export File. In the Scene Manager dialog, you can determine which views to export in the 3D PDF file. For this example, let's export a single view Uncheck all views except for one and click OK. Set a path to save the 3D PDF file in and click Save. As you can see, the 3D PDF is using the template we have chosen from the PDF settings. From the PDF settings under the Template tab, you can modify an already existing template. You can, for example, add your name or your company's name and customize it to your preference. You also have the ability to create a template from scratch. Click on New to open the Template Designer. The first dialog in the Template Designer sets the page's size. Set it to 1600 pixels by 1800 pixels and click OK. On the left, we have the Properties panel. This panel displays all the properties of any selected element in the template, and since nothing is selected at the moment, it will display the properties for the template's background. You have the option to set the background to a single color, a gradient color, and image or a PDF file. To use a single color as the background, simply select the Single Color option and edit the currently used color, then click OK. To create a gradient background, select the Linear Gradient option and click Edit. Then double-click a color pointer to modify it. You can also add as much colors as you need by adding pointers to the gradient stripe. For this example, we are going to use an image as the background. So we will select the Image option and click on Browse. Then select an image file that we have designer earlier. The first thing to do after setting a background for the template is specifying the 3D area. The 3D area is the space where the 3D model will be displayed in the 3D PDF document. Click on the 3D area button and click anywhere on the template to place a 3D area. Then by dragging the red squares, determine the size and shape of the 3D area. The next thing to do is to add a title to the template. Click on the Add Text icon, then click on the banner above the 3D area. Set the font type, size, and color, and type in a title for the template, and then click OK. Click and drag the added title to position it more accurately. Next, we are going to add camera navigation options. We will add four texts and attach those texts to camera views from the CAD application. 
and once the user clicks them, the 3D view will shift to view the designated camera for each text. Click on the Add Text icon and click on the first button location and type in Exterior. Set the size and color of the text and click OK. A faster method of creating several texts is to copy an already existing text and modifying it. So with the exterior text selected, press Ctrl and C, then Ctrl and V on your keyboard, then move the newly copied text to its appropriate location. Now double click the text to edit it and type in the name Yard. Follow the same steps to create two more buttons for the kitchen and the living room. Select the exterior text and from the panel to the left, open the Type drop-down menu. From this menu, you can choose what action to occur when the user presses the button. You can select a URL to open a web browser with a specific link, play sound, animation, run a script, among other options. For this example, we are selecting Apply Camera. In the Camera Name field, type in the name of the camera or the view exactly as it is in your CAD application. In our case, we are going to type in 3D View Approach, which is the name of the exterior view we want this button to click to. Set the second button to Apply Camera and type the name 3D View from Yard. Follow the same steps for the remaining two buttons while making sure that the name you type matches exactly the view in your CAD application. An additional element that the template designer allows to add is an image. Click the image icon and click somewhere on the template. Then select an image to insert into the template. You can position and rescale the image using the red markers similar to scaling a 3D area. Keep in mind that you can make images interactive similar to text by changing their type from the panel to the left. An additional helpful tool that the SimLab template designer offers is the dictionary. The dictionary allows us to replace keywords with text. For example, what we have here is the name author, and next to it is the value SimLab software and a website link. So if we were to use the keyword author in the template, it will automatically be changed with its value, which is SimLab software and the SimLab website. Let us create a new keyword. Press on the Add icon and for the name type in Web and in the value box type in www.simlab-soft.com, then click Add. Now close the dictionary and add a new text, then set the size and color of the text and click OK. From the Text Properties to the left, set the source to Dictionary instead of Text Editor. Now inside the Keyword field, type in Web, and you will notice that the text automatically changed to the website's link instead of the word Web. The dictionary is very useful when you are planning to produce batches of 3D PDF file. Since this way, you can set up the dictionary earlier and using keywords, call on the information into the template with ease. A useful function to add to a website's link would be transforming it to a hyperlink. From the panel to the left, set the type of the text to a URL. 
Here you can link it to a local HTML file or start up HTML file in addition to an online link. In this example, we are going to type in a link to an online website in the URL field. Once you are done with the template's design, go to the File menu and click Save or Save As. Type in the name of the template and click Save. Close the template designer and click Refresh. Then select the saved template and click Save to close the Settings dialog and set the new template design as the default template. Click on Export File. In the Scene Manager dialog, you get to choose which views to export in the 3D PDF document. Each view will be exported as a separate page in the same PDF file. And as you can see, the views at the top of the list are those that we connected to buttons in the Template Designer. And what we need to do is merge all those views into a single view instead of having each view in its own separate page. Click on Merge 3D Scenes into Selected Scene and see how all the 3D views that we had become a single view. This process is reversible. Simply click on Undo Merge to revert the views to their original state. With all the views checked, click OK, then set the path and the name of the file you intend to create and click Save. An additional feature available in the Template Designer is setting an already existing PDF file as the background for your 3D PDF document. Create a new template and don't bother with setting the size since the PDF background will determine it. From the panel to the left, set the Fill Mode to PDF Document, then browse to the desired PDF file and select it. Add a 3D area to the template and adjust its position and size to suit the overall design. Save the template and close the template designer. Then click Refresh and select the new template and click Save. Export the PDF file to see the result. Setting a PDF file as a background for your 3D PDF document gives you the ability to implement 3D views of your model inside the technical documentation of the model. Combining both technical and visual presentation of your model into a single customizable and visually appealing 3D PDF file thanks to the simplicity and effectiveness of the SimLab Template Designer.